Can you tell me what is happening in Gaza despite the serious censorship? Is the most common argument about Palestine that you sold your lands to Israel true? For example, if we are saying that 20 children were killed, it's not just at 20. It's at 20 souls, at 20 story ended, at 20 future, but it's not just a number. Soram Aslı'nın yeni bölümüne hoş geldiniz. Bu bölümde konuğumuz Gazze'den gelen Filistinli bir genç kadın. Kendisini İngilizce daha iyi ifade edebildiği için programın devamında İngilizce olarak devam edeceğiz. What is it like to grow up in Gaza? How did you experience the conflict between two sides? Let's first to imagine how Gaza looks like. Actually, Gaza is a very small area. It's maybe smaller than Arnavutkoi or with the same size with Yusuf Pasha. About 2 million people inside it. It's located on the coast, surrounded from three sides from the occupation and the fourth from Egypt. You need to know that the gas, water, electricity and the all basic necessities of life under the hand of the occupation. So it's really hard to live in this situation. It's like maybe close to the open air prison, we can see. By this simplified explanation, you can understand how it's really look like. But if I'm telling you about my experience or how the people are living there, it's a really hard life with a fall of challenges every day, but because there is no option. So we used to, because we born there, we find this way. Do you live with a constant fear of survival every day in Gaza? Yeah, sure. Because in every, like, there is no specific moment you will feel that you are under danger or something. Every time in Gaza, you need to be expect that you will die. Because, you know, and and once again, they can pump all Gaza. That's why. What do you think about Thomas's recent attacks? Actually, I'm not a political analyst to criticize or agree with what Hamas did, but I'm always with the idea of resistance because if we are being silent with the occupation, they always gonna increase the controlling over us. So we need to try a lot and a lot with them to get our goal or to reach our goal of the freedom at least. Are Jews your enemy? Let's differentiate between Jews, Zionist and Israeli. We need to know the difference between all these. For example, the Jew person, who's the person that impressed the Jewish religion. For the Israeli, who's the citizen and the living in Israel. For the Zionist, who's the person who support killing, fighting, trying to steal the land of Palestine and have who have this Zionist thoughts. I don't have any problem with a, a Jewish person. My problem is with a Zionist person. That person who had the, the Zionist thoughts of killing and fighting, stealing the land from Palestinian and trying to get right the Palestinian from their lands. This is the only one that I have a problem with, you know. Did you able to cross the Israel side? For sure not. I tell you why, because I'm considered as a terrorist for them. Even I cannot cross the border, if I gonna approach there, they gonna kill me. There is no way to enter the occupied areas. Is it for Gaza or all Palestinian people? For Gaza, we cannot cross it, but for the West Bank, in a very specific cases, you can, but for Gaza, there is no way to across there. Do Palestinians of different religions are also facing the Israeli restrictions? Yes, all the religions inside Palestine facing the same problems from the Israeli occupation. If you are Muslim, if you are a Christian, you will face the same thing. They killing them, they didn't allow them to bring, they always destroying the, the mosque, the churches. They didn't even give them any respect, any religion, because they are just an occupation criminal country. That's it. What do Palestinian people want? Liberty or peace? Let me tell you something about this point especially. 
You know what? I hear a lot of people, they trying to say like, guys, uh, just solve the problem, the Palestinian problem and make Palestine two countries, one to Palestine and one for Israel. But it's really something too funny to me because it's my land. Where are you supposed to give another one coming from UK or USA or Netherlands, a part of my country to I get a piece? It doesn't make sense. The only solution for the Palestinian issues or the Palestine issues specifically to get the freedom to take Palestine and to be just for the Palestinians. This is the only solution that we are looking for even if we will die. Is your family in Gaza? Yes, they are. Can you tell me what is happening in Gaza despite the serious censorship? If you are waiting and specific information from me so I don't have, we are in the same situation because I have no communication with my family there. It's really hard to communicate with them these days. I'm also keep watching the TV and the social media to get any news. For example, three days ago, my mom called me at the night. She told me like, mom for three to four day maybe i gonna lose the communication with you because it's really hard to charge the phone but don't worry we gonna be okay and i know that you are strong and you will understand the situation don't worry about us and we will be safe and till this moment i have no idea what's going with them I have no idea if they are okay if anything happened. And the only thing that makes me relax is that I didn't see their names till this moment in the social media. And it's me like when, when you don't see your family names in the social media, that means they're still alive. Do you have any hope for Palestine's future? I believe in Palestine future. I know that one day we gonna get our land. I know that we will get the freedom. Every single Palestinian outside Palestine is waiting for that day. And trust me, when we get the freedom, you will never see a Palestinian outside Palestine. Because we really have this deeply belong to our country. We really love it and we believe that one day we will go back there and we're gonna stay there. What is it like to be a Palestinian woman? Actually, the Palestinian women who can afford all suffering just to create the best and the perfect life for her children. She's the woman can grow up the family and the children without the father. She's the woman that we can call her women and the man at the same time. Did you lose anyone from your family during this ongoing war? If we are talking about this war, they are safe till this moment. I didn't lose anyone. But before? Yeah, I lost my cousin and he was my best friend too. I lost a lot of my school of friends. Uh, but it's a normal thing to leave it when you are from Gaza. You need to be ready for this kind of news that you will lose someone or something one day. Is the most common argument about Palestine that you sold your lands to Israel true? If we are talking about the sales part, if there is any sales process in the, in the situation or in the history, it was like a normal sale. I'm a Palestinian and you are an Arab Jewish or a foreigner Jewish and you came to my country trying to buy a house or something. Okay, I'm gonna give it to you. Give me money, I'm gonna give you a house. Like if I'm trying to uh, buy a house here in Turkey, if I'm going to an a Turkish seller, they're gonna sell it to me because I'm not an enemy and I'm not trying to occupy Turkey. So it's a normal sales process. But in that time, because there is nothing called Israel, so the Palestinian didn't think that this person that I sailed him my house, he will kill me one day. He's gonna try to steal my land one day, you know? What do you think about the Western countries' approach to the current situation? Actually, I have no idea what I'm supposed to say. But don't tell me that there is anyone in Western country or in the Arab countries. We have no idea about what happening right now in Gaza. Everyone knows everything. 
There is some of them standing with Palestine. There is some of them standing with Israel. There is some of them prefer to stay silent or stay in the middle. I understand that. But if there is anything, I really hope to change it the minds to let them understand that we are not just the numbers. For example, if we are saying that 20 children were killed by the Israeli occupation, it's not just a 20. It's a 20 souls, a 20 story ended, a 20 future, but it's not just a number. How did you come to Turkey? How did you choose Istanbul? After I finished my high school, I started looking for an university. And because there is no high quality education in Gaza and my family looking for me the better future, so they told me you need to, to study abroad. I said, okay, then we start looking to the universities with the field that I'm looking for, cosmetology. So then I started looking and find a lot of universities. Then on that time, the Turkish visa war was like more easier visa to get. So I applied to a university here. They accepted. Then we start with the process to coming here. If we are talking about why Turkey itself or why Istanbul, for a lot of reasons. First of all, there is a high standard of education. It's a Muslim country. So it's gonna easier to me to adapting with them. What do you think of Turkey's stance on Israel and Palestine? war and did you have experienced any racism in turkey no actually if i'm gonna talk about the turkish people so the most people that they are helped me here were my turkish friends and if we are talking about the situation of standing with israel or palestine I really like something in the Turkish society that they really understand the Palestinian issue and they always stand with it. They always praying for Palestine and wishing them the freedom. A daily example from my life, whenever I gonna wait the bus in the bus station or something and beside me an old man or an old woman, they start to ask me like, where are you from? And then I said, I'm from Palestine. Then they looked to me, really, you are from Palestine? I said, yeah, I'm from Palestine. Then they are start like praying, wishing the freedom for Palestine. So I really, I really like how they understand everything about Palestine. Sorum Aslı'nın bu bölümünde konuğumuz Filistinli bir genç kadındı. Görmek istediğiniz farklı konuklar, sormak istediğiniz farklı sorular varsa yorumlara yazmayı ve yeni videolarımızdan haberdar olmak için bildirimlerinizi açmayı lütfen unutmayın. Bir sonraki videoda görüşmek üzere, hoşçakalın.